Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by Shrewsbury Town correspondent here at the Shropshire Star, Mr. Lewis Cox. Lewis, uh, FA Cup action this weekend for Shrewsbury Town. It's on the telly. Uh, West Ham coming to the meadow. But David Moyes, he's come up with some interesting quotes recently, yeah. you know, talking about how he's willing or, or almost accepting that he may sacrifice the FA Cup for for league league survival, obviously, yeah. you know, in a bit of a relegation battle. What do you make of those quotes? It's not, probably not the first time in, you know, the Premier League era that we've heard a, a manager fighting relegation mm -hmm. saying, you know, I'm not too interested about the FA Cup and, and League Cup this year. Um, you know, third round, you know, Premier League clubs rotate, don't they? Yeah. Uh, other than maybe the Liverpool Everton game, where I'm sure both clubs will have a go at each other, Premier mm -hmm. League ties. Uh, I think while West Ham will respect Shrewsbury top of League One, obviously doing great things. I think they can, they can think that it's a chance for their fringe players to, to stake a claim, mm -hmm. get some confidence, minutes, and that's probably you know the money and, and so on. There's enough talent in West Ham's bench mm -hmm. to they would think put away Shrewsbury Town. So I don't know if it's, if it's any disrespect necessarily, but certainly um, Moyes may see that as the right thing to do. You know, we, we talk about their schedule that they played Tuesday, didn't they, against West Brom? They're playing tonight. In, in the Premier League, that's a, a ridiculous schedule leading up to a Sunday Cup mm -hmm. clash really, when town have got much more of a break. So you wouldn't expect the same team that's played in those Premier League games to then mm -hmm. go and play in the Cup on Sunday. That's not realistic really. So yeah, changes maybe not a surprise. How many will he make? You know, it wouldn't surprise me if he made seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. And if we do see a raft of changes, I mean you did say it's it's no disrespect to Shrewsbury, mm. but but will it will it be something that Paul Hurst looks at and go, well one minute here, they're taking us for a little bit mm. of a of a, a team we probably expected to beat. So do you reckon that's going to add some fire to Shrewsbury Town and Paul Hurst? Yeah, maybe, but I think the one way Paul Hurst would, would look at it, and I've just said there um, that West Ham will think they've got enough in reserve to beat Shrewsbury, but mm. it sounds a bit like I'm contradicting myself now, but Paul Hurst will tell the players, you know, West Ham's first team are doing nothing in the Premier League right now. You know, these guys can't get in West Ham's first team, so we can get in at them and, mm -hmm. you know, show them. I'm sure, uh, you know, a number of the players that will play have work their way through the you know they're not all big million millionaire kind of foreign signings mm -hmm. you know look at someone off the top of my head Mikel Antonio worked his way up Cresswell there mm -hmm. um, guys that have played through League One so they know what the football league is about but Tam Hurst sorry will tell his players to get in the faces of these players that might not have played much football mm -hmm. other than 23's football and you know show them how competitive town have been this season show them what a competitive fixture is about you know it's a tight the meadow will be packed, it'll be tight, West Ham won't fancy it. Mm. And you did, you, we did mention that it's on the TV as well. Does that give some added pressure to West Ham, but also you know, to the likes of Shrewsbury Town? Because like, a lot of people who will tune into the game on mm. the weekend might not have been keeping an eye on Shrewsbury. Obviously, it's a chance for them to showcase their skills. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, Hurst said something really interesting the other day, I think after the Oldham game. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, the pressure's on West Ham because that's that's the upset they're, they're the, uh, the, the favourites but mm -hmm. on the flip side you know Paul Hurst uh, hasn't been in this position uh, been manager of a, a team on national telly mm -hmm. he doesn't want to be embarrassed he doesn't want to lose you know get rolled over lose 5 or 6 nil if Shrewsbury don't bring their game which if Town aren't on it you know no disrespect could happen if mm -hmm. West Ham are decent on the day it could happen if, if Town don't show up he doesn't want to get rolled over 5 or 6 nil, be embarrassed on national telly mm -hmm. because why would you want that to happen you just you just wouldn't and obviously you want to paint your club in good light yeah. show them why you know they're second in league one why they've been top why they were unbeaten for ages why the nation has been paying attention to the club and mm -hmm. you know we just sort of all hope that I'm sure it will that, that the players that get selected will put in a a display sort of fitting of how town have been this season. Mm, so plenty of factors going into this weekend's clash with West Ham in the FA Cup. For all the latest on that, make sure you stick with us at shropshirestar.com.